Hi guys, happy Easter. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd make some brownies with you. I did do a head start already. I um, preheated my oven to 350. I am using um, this Pillsbury gluten-free chocolate fudge premium brownie mixed with chocolate chips. Yum yum. And I already did my three tablespoons of water, a third cup of oil, avocado oil, and olive oil, because that's what I had on hand, and one egg. And now I put in my brownie mix, and I'm doing 50 strokes. I'm almost done with this. So, what do you guys do for Easter? What do you make for Easter? Let me know in the comments down below. We usually do like turkey or like a roaster or something like that, but this year we're doing manicotti and brownies. And we might have a salad on the side. I'm not sure yet what we're doing. But we're doing meatballs, manicotti, making them everything from scratch. Besides the manicotti, you guys know what I mean. Yeah, so I am still getting better, guys, from everything. I've been helping my mom as well. She also has some, you know, you know, feet problems. And she's going to a podiatrist tomorrow on that. And I've been helping her as well, so just catching up on sleep and everything so i'm sorry i'm not on here but i am on here doing this video with you guys i thought it would be fun so these have really nice chocolate chips in this we usually go to church on sunday you know if you've been following me we just moved here so we haven't really found a church yet and because of my mom's condition it's hard to go right now and so we are going to most likely try the church out we are pentecostal if you're wondering we're going to try the church out the next few weeks or so after things get better. My gosh, this move was so tiring. So tiring, so tiring. Okay, so this is the consistency that you want. Okay? I don't have a really bright light on. Hopefully you guys can see this. Let me see. See? But, so you want that consistency. It's like a pudding light -like consistency. It's what you're looking for when you're making brownies. And wow, I am so happy about the chocolate chips in there. So is my daughter, by the way. So now what it is saying to do, spread into a prepared pan. So you do have to coat the bottom of it uh, with nonstick cooking spray. I do not have that. So I don't wanna do olive oil because I think olive oil is going to, I do have a little bit left in here, so that should be enough. So I'll be right back when we get my pan. Okay, this is what you're looking for to make brownies. This is an eight by eight pan. And I'm just gonna rinse it out because, we had, and we also had like a carpenter uh, ant problem in our home too. It was so much fun, I tell you. So we had it, uh, you know, fix that too. So I just took some of that oil and I'm just gonna go along this pan. And if you guys want more cooking videos, let me know. I mean, I love to cook. That should be enough. You know what, I can do a little bit of olive oil. I did do that before, it was fine. I'm trying to keep this pretty healthy besides that sugar, right? So, I just put a little bit on and I just do this in the pan with a paper towel. My husband's like, oh, she's recording. Okay, I'll leave her alone. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna do the rest of my fingers. So yeah. So what do you guys do for Easter? You know, um, we celebrate what Jesus did for us. Um, let me know in the comments down below what do you guys do for Easter and what do you make? And all right. Let's go. I'm just in a cute little lounge outfit, by the way. That I got from Walmart. Oh, my daughter was here. She would want to lick this, but I don't let her because of the um, raw egg in it. I used to as a kid. You learn over time not to do those things. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this all in with a rubber spatula. So the rubber spatula seems to get all the edges and all that good stuff. So I'm trying to figure out 
what kind of dessert to make for my, you know, for my family. I was trying to figure out. And we were going to do a cake, but not everybody in the house is a cake lover, but everybody loves brownies. Who doesn't, right? Even my husband. I mean, he wants yellow cake, but um, he said, you know what, we'll just get um, regular brownies or something. So I was going to buy store-bought, but they didn't have any. But you know what, that just, I don't know, it's so much fun when you make it yourself. So now I just put this all in the pan. See what I did here? And let's see. What does it say to do now? Then you're going to spread into a prepared pan, bake at 350 for metal or glass, and that's what this is. And then you cut and serve, and you're done. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. I will come on here to show you the finished product when it's done. All right, guys, they're still in the oven cooking. Um, it's about 35, 40 minutes. I do use a convection oven, um, which is a lot easier. You know, it's less energy and all that good stuff. And um, so sometimes you have to do a 325 uh, temperature instead of 350, but the 350 will be good. So, so yeah. So I do have some... Um, lean ground turkey thawing out, 93 lean, 7% fat. So I'm going to be making some meatballs soon. And I thought it would be fun to just come on here, guys, and just cook with you today. And yeah, I mean, I'm not going to do the manicotti with you guys. I'll probably show you the finished product at the end of everything. My husband, you know, is going to be making the manicotti. But I'm going to be making meatballs and... I thought it would be fun to do that with you guys. I think this is, no, not yet, so, not yet, just quite. So, I will start doing this soon, but it's not ready just yet. So, yeah, so I'll leave that alone. But, um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on to see how, you're all, how you all are. And what are your plans today? And um, so, yeah. So I'm going to take you, um, let me see. I'm going to take you around my living room to show you guys. This is what I did differently in the living room. So we got this chair for my mommy. She loves it. It's a, um, a glider. So it's a beautiful grayish color. Then I hung up these curtains. Remember I said I wasn't sure what I was gonna do on this window? Well, I decided to put the 63 length up because the 84 was gonna be too long by the heaters. So these are a beautiful bohemian print. It's like some um, just really pretty, uh, it's, it's like a medallion print. And they're like beige and gray. And then what I did here is I put a carpet out and then that's a poof we got from Walmart and that's a new pillow I got Beyond Blessed. I love that. That's all returns I have to do back to Walmart. Then what I did up here in my fireplace, you know, for spring I wanted to add some really nice, um, you know, flowers and let me make this, there you go. You can see what I did here. And that's what I did to break it up a little bit because I didn't like, you know, the bare plates. So I wanted to do that. Then over here on my bookshelf, got this from Walmart. This is an olive plant, 12 something guys. That's all it was. And I just think that looks so pretty. And then, yeah, because it was different. So I'm showing you guys what I did differently now. And then down here, I just added a little picture. And that's what I did there. Over here, I added some more floral. And yeah. So over here is another carpet I put down. This is from Walmart as well. So this is what this looks like over here. 
and that's the curtain on the other window. And yeah, so that's what I did differently in here and the dining room. So I will be back soon to show you the finished product of the brownies. All right, guys, so now I'm in my husband's office. This is my other closet. It didn't take from the last video when I did it. So there's Bear. He smells like a skunk. Big dogs do, I guess, right? All right, so this is the transformation of this closet. This is all my spring and summer. I put green matching velvet hangers and just some white. I put all of my peep toe shoes up here. These are my over the knee boots and just a couple of tamu shoes because I didn't want bright colors in my bedroom. So I kept them here. Here's some necklaces that I have to tangle, de detangle. And yeah, so down here, I put my accessory box that has all of my wallets, my sunglasses, things like that. This is what I decided to put all in my spring purses in summer. And I put a carpet down that I got from Walmart. And this is where I keep all my hats. All of my hats are in here. Let's see. You can see all my hats. Okay. So, guys, inexpensive way to store things. That, that's why I share these ideas with you. And I'm going to get closer. And then you guys can see what I did. Might be a little too close. Let's back it up a little here you go okay so what I did because I get questions on this all of my longer dresses are in the back then long to short and then I did and nothing's color-coded guys okay then I do all my shorter blouses longer blouses and that's how I decorate I mean huh, that's how I organize and these are all in my tops then my kimonos and all that good stuff Okay, so that's what I did. I love the transformation, especially the green. It's just so pretty and springy and summery. So unfortunately, I couldn't have my summer and spring in my room, but that's okay. Flannel shirts, bungee cord idea for sports bras. And these have some velvet hangers too, but plastic and white and then these are all my jackets okay. so as you could tell I needed all this space so <laughs> I've always wanted a coat closet we didn't have that in our other house now we have it but this is only my coat closet because my mom has a huge closet I mean huge two closets in one <laughs> her and she's and she has a walk-in and then my husband has his own closet and they don't have a lot of coats you know they're men all right so that's what I did differently. I don't want so so this is what everything looks like. Sorry about all the bags, but I have a lot of returns to do. And yeah, those brownies are smelling yummy. And this is what I did in the hallway. That's just a picture I put up. Okay. And yeah, so that's what I did differently in my house. This is my patio. I don't remember, guys, if I shared this or not. This is my patio. We, we got a new carpet. We got a new porch swing that lays down. We got some glider rocking chairs. We got a table, I and mean, we have so much we're gonna put out here. We're getting a grill. So when it's all transformed, I will share that as well. This is cement. Yeah, I don't wanna go out there, it's too cold. Ooh, I smell those brownies. All right, guys, I will be back with the finished product of the brownies. I just thought it would be fun to give you guys a house tour of different things that I did differently. And this is a long carpet, long carpet <laughs> that we picked up. So it's a beautiful carpet. I will link things if I can find them or I'll wait for you guys to say, give me the link, Barbara, on that carpet or whatever, because there's so many things. All right, guys, this is the finished product. Not bad, huh? So I'm not going to slice it right now because it would be too hot to slice. I have to let this cool completely. That's what you want to do. And then you can slice and enjoy. 
All right, guys, I am ready to do the meatballs. So what I did in a bowl already is I, we um, cut up onions ahead of time and we freeze them in little plastic containers. And this is about a half a cup of onions diced, you know, sliced up. And then I did some Italian seasoning, some garlic powder, some adobo. If you don't know what adobo is, my husband's Cuban. So this is a Goya adobo, okay? And it has good spices in it. Some black pepper, some garlic, and some Italian seasoning. That's what I put in, okay? Now what I'm going to add to that, I wanted to do beef broth because I'm doing ground turkey because we've been having red meat a lot this week. So I um, use Shady Brook Farm. I just opened it up because I've been trying to like, you know, do this with the fork with it. Okay. So I wanted to do beef broth with this because I am using ground turkey to give it more of that beef flavor, but that's okay. Well, that's all right. We're going to do some chicken broth. So a lot of people do milk in their meatballs, Swedish, Swedish meatballs, you can do beef broth as well, but I'm just going to add a little bit of chicken broth. I eyeball this. So I would say less than a third of a cup. Okay. So to that mixture, I'm going to add my breadcrumbs and I use gluten-free plain. Okay. By four C. And I'm just going to eyeball that as well. <clears throat> That's about a quarter cup, I would say. Maybe a little bit more. And let me get an egg. So my brownies are still cooling. So I will show you those soon. And I did take you through my house to show you my changes that I did. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. I know it's not a haul video, but you know, it's fashion to claim more, right? So I just add some organic eggs here. We're thinking of getting chicken guys. I'm trying to talk to my husband about that, popping into it. So I'm just going to crack an egg, okay, into this mixture. I do usually clean my eggshell off, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that. Um, let me grab a paper towel. All right. Now I'm going to just beat this a little bit inside of this breadcrumb mixture. Okay. I love to cook. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys love to cook. I love to cook. So before me doing this, our dog Bear, Caney Corso Boxer, we put him outside to go to the bathroom after I had playtime with him. In the dog room, I should call it, right? And um, I forgot to lock the other side of the crate. So when my husband brought him back in the house, he thought he was, you know, good and everything. And uh, yeah, he decided to run through the house. It's like a Beethoven movie. Eh. Anyway, so you want to have it like that, like a mixture. Okay. Now my ground turkey is still a little bit, you know, it has some frozen spots in it, but not really. So I'm just going to Take this out. Make sure you don't get the paper. Almost did. Um, so I'm just going to put this all in. My daughter came out and she said, Mom, we're having meatballs and made a party? I'm like, yeah, we're having both. Yeah, it's still sticking to the bottom here. This is like, that's nice. Whatever. All right. So... I did take this out like 7 in the morning and it just got thawed out. So now what I'm going to do is clean my hands off. Yucky yuck. Let me rewash them real quick. I don't want to rub the vanilla anymore. Alright. Grab another paper towel. I get so much exercise in this house, guys. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix this thoroughly together. And I did use a glass bowl for the purpose of this video so you guys can really see what I'm doing. And if you guys like videos like this, give me a like. And I will be sure to bring more your way. Like I said, I love to cook. And 
so my family members are in their rooms because I told them I was going to be doing this. But I said, you guys can hang out. Just don't say anything when I'm cooking, when I'm making the video. But they decide to want to stay in their room. So everybody makes their meatballs differently. Um, sometimes you can add a little bit of sugar to this mixture as well. Ketchup, things like that. Worcestershire sauce. But it just all depends what your taste buds are like, right? What you like to add. So now, when you're working with turkey, one thing that I have come across to know is that you want to get a little bowl, you get a little bowl, um, and fill a little bit with water to actually clean your fingers off as you're forming these meatballs. Because if you don't, you're gonna have sticky hands. Okay? So I'm gonna be putting them on this cookie sheet. All right? And we're gonna start forming these. So I'll be right back to show you how they look. So this is, okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay? And I'm just going to place them on. Now, you can use an ice cream scooper. You can use a melon scooper. Yeah, see, I'm putting my hands in that water as I'm forming them. Because, you know, uh, turkey doesn't have a lot of grease like um, red meat does. And this is also a leaner cut. So, and what I normally do sometimes, too, is I put this on a like on a plate and then I cut it and I do even meatballs, but today I'm just doing it this way. And you can get quite a bit out of here. Um, it depends if you want them small or medium or large. And um, yeah, so just gonna keep doing this until all my meatballs have been formed. You guys having a good Easter so far? Do you guys do Easter baskets for your kiddos? Not that I'm against that, guys. Please don't, you know, judge me on that. Um, I did when my kids were younger. I did get my daughter um, a dog mom hat from Timu, and I got my mom and my daughter both a pair of rhinestone earrings, like little studs. So that's what I got them. I didn't do any Easter baskets or anything like that because we want to try to keep the main focus on what Easter is all about. But, yeah. So you just keep doing this until you form them. Now you can fry these. I'm choosing to bake them today. You can put them on parchment paper if you want to. But because of the chicken broth, they're not going to stick, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, so hubby is going to start the manicotti soon. And I don't know if I'm going to be filming that part or not. So what you do is you just boil the manicotti noodles. You know, you drain them, you, you move them to a serving type platter. And then you take ricotta, an egg, mozzarella, shredded cheese, Italian seasoning, some spices like garlic, adobo, things like that. You mix that in a bowl and then you stuff them. And then you add sauce on top of them with some mozzarella cheese and voila, you have manicotti. So we were going to have it the other day, but I made meatloaf instead. I was craving meatloaf. Guys, We've been eating fast food so much um, that we needed to stop, you know, because from moving and everything, it, you know, you're, you're just too tired to cook. But now I'm so happy that we're settled and I'm able to really, you know, get my fingers dirty again because I love to cook. <laughs> love, 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 love to cook. So, so yeah, it's a beautiful day here in PA. It's getting warm. I mean, you know, it's supposed to be spring, right? Can't wait to do my patio. want to get that done. Sorry I'm not on here today, um, but, you know, I am, right? And um, 
So we have a busy week ahead of us. Um, I have services that come in for my mom and my daughter, and my mom's going to the podiatrist tomorrow. And when I want to get to the gym. I've not been to the gym in, oh my gosh, three weeks, I think. But I work out every other day. It's just been really difficult to get there. See, and I just put my hands in that mixture. And yeah, you don't have to do this with the red meat, like I said. Just, I think you do it with turkey too. But this is, I mean, with chicken. I don't remember. I think so. We try to eat I'm pretty healthy here, you know. Well, this is a healthier alternative, um, but he's fighting high. I mean, people are fighting higher cholesterol in my home, so I want to try to make things that are healthier. And what I like about the gluten-free manicotti noodles is that they are... Got to take a little bit away from this guy so I can make it the same size. Is that they're gluten-free and they're brown rice noodles. And they're by Jovio. I love Jovio. Tastes just like regular pasta. Because I really can't eat the gluten. Um, I, I do once in a while and I know I say I eat gluten. I'm good, yeah. No, it depends. And obviously my mom now has an issue too. She can't eat it either. We found that out. That's okay. All right, so these are going to go into my convection oven, and I'm going to cook these for three uh, on temperature of 350, and I am going to, let's say, I would say 35 to 40 minutes to cook these, up to an hour. Um, and the reason why I'm doing them in the oven is because it's just, I'm not standing in front of a, a stove frying them, you know? And I just think they're healthier. Sorry, I'm cleaning off my sink because, yeah. So this is, needs to be cleaned, but I'm not gonna, I'm not going to have you watch me do that. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is what they look like. Okay, so I'm gonna put them in the oven and I will come back with the finished product. All right, guys. So that's in the oven. There's hubby. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> okay. So this is the Jovio that I'm talking about, and it's gluten-free, and they're manicotti noodles. It's organic brown rice, too. I forgot they're organic. Really, really, really good company. So this is the cheese we use. It's just Kraft mozzarella, and this is the sauce my hu husband's going to be using today, Newman's own marinara. And that's certified organic, um, certified gluten-free, with made with extra virgin olive oil, no added sugar. So yeah, so he's gonna start that manicotti soon, and I might show you when it's all done, or maybe when he is preparing it, I'll talk to him about it and see if he wants to. Oh, I wasn't gonna come on here, but I'm like, you know what? I have a little pimple on my eyebrow. Of course I do. It hurts. So I'm just sitting here drinking my smoothie. This is a Pillars yogurt a mixed berry, um, a banana, a cup of Wyman's mixed berries, and a quarter cup of walnuts. So the brownies are cooling. They look so good. And then the manicotti we're going to start soon. The meatballs are in the oven. So, so yeah. I um, got everything done. That I, very productive days so far. All right, guys. So let me record this. So my hubby just put um, some water in a pot that's boiling. And he's going to add the manicotti to it. And he started the filling already. Oh, he cooks so good. So what's in here, babe? An egg and ricotta so far. Ricotta. We use Galbani, 15 ounce. Okay. And then one egg. And then what else are you going to put in there? A ton of seasoning and garlic. 
Italian seasoning and garlic. Organic, hopefully. Is that organic? It doesn't matter. Eyeball it. He eyeballs it, just like me. How much did you put in? About a teaspoon. Awesome. Yes, yeah, teaspoon. You didn't do a dough bowl? Well, that will be the other one. No. No, it's home. No. Here, or organic. Oh, show that again. What is it? Tying and seasoning. Mm -hmm. So he's going to put that in. And then you're just going to mix that all up. And then when the manicotti That's is... Two tablespoons. And when the manicotti is done, what do you do? What are you going to do after that? Well, you cook it for four minutes, boil it for four minutes, and you take it out. To cool? No. You take it out, oh. cool it slightly, and then you have, you're supposed to fill it with a bag. Mm-hmm. But we don't have bags right now, so... You mean cut the tip of it, of a baggie? Cut the tip of a baggie, like, mm -hmm. you're, filling, like you're doing cake. Yeah, we don't have baggies, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to... Um, this is too creamy, so... I'm gonna add mozzarella to it. Oh yeah, yum. All right guys, we'll show you the finished product soon. Okay, so then he just sprinkled some mozzarella, yeah. the one I showed you guys earlier. And he just mixes that with a wooden spoon. And it's still creamy. You did one egg? Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's gonna be good. So then he's gonna, you're gonna put those into the manicotti shells with I'm a spoon. A of, I'm gonna add a little bit of almond flour. So he just put it in the fridge and we're going to thicken it. For some reason we'll it's come. very thin. Okay. That won't work. We'll come back soon. All right, guys. So this is how my husband did this. I think six of them were good of the manicotti shells. The rest fell apart. So he just basically just stuffed them the way he could. And that's why there's a little dent in there. But this looks yummy. So this is going to go in a 300 to 50 degree oven. And um, and then we're gonna serve it with the meatballs and then we'll have our brownies and all that good stuff. And yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. I thought I would just take you along my day of the cooking part anyway. I'm a little out of breath because I was just got done vacuuming. My uh, dog decided to run back again onto the couch. Then there was mud all over the couch. Then I had to vacuum the couch. I'm like, oh my gosh. Thank God we had a pad on there, but nonetheless, it's been a productive day so far. I know guys, I'm taking you through the whole process. So this is, they're, they're in my convection right now. Okay, I made them a little bigger if you could say. Might be some sun there, but um, yeah, so I put them in there and they're in 350 for, I would say 45, 50 minutes. Okay, I'm just washing some dishes. Washing some dishes. Just lets my dog bark in. This is life, though. I mean, guys. So I just went outside the back and swept a little bit, cleaned up a little bit. It is so warm out today, guys, here in PA. Really nice day. Oh, still having that issue, though, with the water being black a little bit. We do have three filters in. We have a well water going on here. You know, we have well water here, so don't know what's going on. Manganese is when I looked it up, it said that, but it makes the dishes a little black, but they, they seem to be getting better. So what are you guys planning on this afternoon? You know, this Easter day, right? I want to get my porch swing up. I really do. And I want to get the rug down. There's a little bee outside. I couldn't believe it. A little baby bee. Flying around by me, yep. So, a little bit longer for the manicotti. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And, yeah. So, I have so many bruises, guys, that are healing from this dog. Yeah, he's very strong. If you guys are 
experience with any Caney Corsals or any boxers, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I, I've had a, a Labrador pointer at one time, and we had um, a Border Collie for a little bit. We had a couple big dogs, rescues and stuff like that as rescues, but yeah, this dog is one of the strongest. So, yeah, he came back in again. He said, on the I screamed when I opened the door. <laughs> Thought it was a bear. Well, his name is Bear, but I screamed when I opened the door. And then he ran on the couch. He didn't know what happened. And I had to put pebbles outside because they don't get along if they're together out there. If he wants to play too much. And yeah. So that is that. Then I just got done vacuuming and everything. Oh. Wow, I tell you guys, I have I do more work in this house than any other house I lived in. It's bigger, which we love this house. I mean, you know, but you know, it keeps you going, it keeps you busy for the day. And I know we're gonna sleep good tonight, like a baby. So, all right, so I am done with the dishes, and that's it. And then we have the manicotti in. And so that's Hubby. He's washing his hands. He just got done cleaning up dog poo outside. So much fun. My favorite. All right, guys. Probably. All right, guys. So the brownies have completely cooled. So my Hubby is going to do the first cut. <laughs> Go for it. Now, when I was growing up, guys, um, I had a bakery across from my house, and they were like these longer pieces, like the way my husband's doing it right now. He worked in a bakery, so he knows what I mean. And then you cut it the other way, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Close so. The squares. The squares too. I used to have it this long when I went to a bakery. Yeah. We'll see what he does. Yum, yum, yum. And then my daughter wants ice cream with it. I'm not going to have ice cream with it. I just want to show you what one looks like. Oh. Under pressure now. <laughs> See, it depends on one piece. Aw. He made delicious manicotti. Mm. All right. Has these little chocolate chips in it. Maybe get a, a spatula. It's better. Oh, okay. We're going to get one of those again. All right, look, 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 look at this. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Some pieces in there. All right, guys, that is the presentation of the brownies. All right, guys, finished product. Yay. Look at all that gooeyness of the cheese and the hard, you know, like some hard parts too. Yum, 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 yum. So we just put our meatballs back in to reheat and we're going to start eating. Happy Resurrection Sunday, everybody. Happy Resurrection Sunday, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So what'd you do with the manicotti, babe? Oh, um, I added a grape tomatoes that were... Cherry tomatoes, you cut them up in oh, red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Awesome, and you put them inside the manicotti and cooked oh, it. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, He's setting the table now, yeah. paper plate style, guys, plate. with plastic forks. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye.